have OPO2 Plus here now and uh, looking at the really bright and clear uh, OLED display. Actually, I'm now uh, using it at uh, 1000 to 600 uh, pixel resolution and as you can see, the, the quality really looks good even on, on that uh, interpolated resolution. Uh, this is this has uh, uh, 1.86 gigahertz uh, 8 of CPU. It's running Vista actually. Uh, it's running quite nicely. Uh, now the difference, of course, as you can see, to the old version was the touchscreen. Uh, the old version has active digitizer, which you could only use with a pen, but now the new one is with touchscreen. This is not a soft touchscreen, as you can see. The cursor doesn't move when I press it gently, but if I use my fingernail, then it works. So that's that's uh, something I would do differently. Anyway, touchscreen is better than uh, active digitizer for many users. Keyboard still the same, the great mouse pointer on, on the keyboard. I really like the mouse pointer, it has uh, the left click and right click on the keyboard. That makes of course the QWERTY keyboard and the numeric keypads a bit small, but uh, I still prefer it. Zoom buttons of course, you can zoom uh, resolution up and down easily. So that eases, eases the use sometimes. Tokyo 2 Plus now should deliver way better battery life than, than with VS CPU and right now we are looking at 24% left, 39 minutes, which would mean uh, 80, 160 minutes with one charge, which uh, could, be, could be not that optimal. I would predict uh, two, two and a half hours with this use. Anyway, this is one of the best, uh, with the highest quality build. It's a really strong, solid build as the older versions too. The slide action is cool. It has spring-operated slider, so it must be must be one of the best manufactured uh, as what comes uh, for quality. I'm really liking it. I would see some things different, but uh, I totally understand their choices. OQ2 Plus at SEBI 2009. This was JKK Mobile, UMPCPortal.com. Thank you. Bye.